Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're on the web at drumcenternh.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are always updating it with new cool video demos of cymbals, drums, drum sets, and what have you. Uh, we're doing DW snare drums today. Uh, DW drums are new to us. We haven't uh, carried them. Uh, I've had some experience selling them in the past when I've uh, worked at other stores. So I was very familiar with the product but there's a lot of changes that have occurred uh, since that time. And so it's been nice to reacclimate myself with this, uh, this program of snare drums. Uh, and as many of you know, I love snare drums, so it's kind of fun to, to do them all in a batch. And so I just sort of wanted to give my uh, impressions um, on them. So as many of you know, I have a lot of experience with a lot of other snare drums, and I know snare drums very, very well. And one thing I found with these is these are a bit of a different beast. They always kind of were, but now they're even more different and almost in a good way, really, because if there's anything that really stands out to me, it's these new True Pitch 50 rods, where, well, I can say that I was not really a proponent for the old True Pitch system. I found it to be a little problematic for myself. Uh, the theory was it helped the drum stay in tune. Uh, no, no, it helped the drum get in tune more easily. Uh, and I found that that may have been true, but it also detuned just as easily. And so that was something that was kind of annoying to me. I didn't really care for it. Now this True Pitch 50, it's an even finer thread, and I have found that this sticks in a little bit more easily. The tuning is a lot more wide. The range is a lot, is a lot more wide. So you'll notice on these demos that the tuning starts out much lower than our typical snare drum demos, and then when we get to the high tuning, there's still a lot more room to go, which we could have done. Uh, so that's kind of a, a cool thing for me, uh, because I want a drum that's going to be very diverse. I want a, a drum that can go low and high and, uh, and, and sit well in every tuning. The other thing that really sticks out for me too are these new true hoops. Uh, I found that triple flange, triple flange tubes can be problematic. Uh, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, and DW really remedied this with these true hoops because they really sit flat and flush on the head and they also feel very good. Now the true hoop basically is a three millimeter triple flange tube. There are usually about three different weights of a triple flange tube. There's a 1.6 millimeter, which is what used to be the commonplace. Then they got thicker to about 2.3. And now we have some 3.0 or 2.9, uh, and they get a little bit more heavy, but they're still a little bit forgiving, um, more forgiving than, say, a die cast tube. Uh, but they feel good. So all in all, I really like what DW has done with these drums. Um, I hope you do, too.